alafu anasema ati huyu amekuja kukosha dirisha like alisema na nguvu maka nikasikia nikasema hata tumekuja kukosha dirisha through a pair what is the problem a Kenyan is greeting you greet them back and that's it like i don't understand mtu anataka kusalimia usai kula pesa yako usai kula mali yako mimi nilikuwa na mali nilikuwa na lishwa ju nilikuwa upea na i was given my money also because i was working nachungia mtu mtoto wake but mtu kumsalimia alafu anasema wewe umekuja huko kwa dirisha so wewe mwenye umekuja huko kufanya tu ulikuwa unafanya au mademo wili nasema ngawish tu wande ningekutana nao ni juve my life ni juve hapa life yao imefika saa 13 years later because mtu anakuongelesha hivyo hey, that thing broke me mpaka nilikuwa na na Afrika na kupaka kusalimia Afrika kwa barabara and by the way guys until today I'm, af- i'm always afraid to greet someone mtu akiniangalia nafanya mkono ile hi ama nasimulia wa germani ile fake Ivo because i'm afraid i don't want to greet someone then mtu ananyamazie imagine tiki mjerumani mj, mj, nyole ilikuwa imeanza kunuka imagine umetoka Kenya na weave three months kwa kichwa ujivu utabomoa hizo makamba kwa kichwa like nyola yangu ilikuwa imeanza kunuka najua inanichoma jua ndio joto ile jamani unajua umetoka Kenya jama kuna jama inaitwa anga shivol like shivol like so foist iko so like iko na kajoto lakini kako sama wet wetish wetish kama nisemeaje it's not it is just too iko too the foist yeah i don't know how you can translate that si baridi like iko tu hapo hiyo hakuna wind unaona why so nikaambia umama aki mimi utanibomoa yenyu nikaambia mzungu please nikae tu chini nibomoe yenyu ile oh mama akachuka akanizo nataka nikaambia nataka tu wembe peke yake let's look for a razor alafu tukae tu tuanze kubomoa nikasema tu mungu baba sedemo mwanamke asikate nyule yangu ishe lakini akanikata poa tukabomoa nyule tukamaliza morning guys how are you all doing it's been a while since i did a video like this guys the the past few months it has been so the past few weeks we don't just say weeks it has been so stressful we lost a family member my brother in law david may you rest in peace we lost him and after that i was supposed to fly to kenya like i told you guys in the other video but i could not make it because my son's passport was almost expiring it was only one month's time to expire and i did not even i didn't even think about it anyway guys today i just sort of giving you a simple story about so many people were asking how do you come to germany guys i came to germany through an agent that was almost 13 years ago it was through an agent she was there in a near kafia center in a, a small office that's why i did my german also and then from a teacher was called osabini and then i did my exam at the gote institute so after kufanya an exam kwa gote institute i was so excited i got a au pair family i went to the embassy after two weeks i got my visa to come to germany long time ago it was not so stressful like this nowadays nowadays is so catastrophic to get a au pair visa i like i told you on my tiktok lives kenyans know why it's very hard for them to get a kenya au pair visas nowadays and so guys hmm mimi huyo nilikuwa fala hata siji mambo ya ndege nikakuja nikiingia kwa nikaenda uh, before i travel to the airport it was so hard mimi huyo nikaenda airport after kusumbuka nikafika approaching there kulikuwa na car line karefu i don't even know what was going on it's my first time flying out after kufika hapo nakuja na mbua tu wanaenda europe wote hakuna ndege inaenda europe kwa sababu kuna volcanic eruption that was in 2010 i was like oh my god so if volcanic eruption hata kama ime erupt kuna tuwezi pita tu na njia nyingine tufikie europe nikaambua lazima nikitaka kuna na njia nyingine lazima nikalale italy alafu nikae like how many days i don't know if it was two days or one day to stay there for one day and then tena nichukue ndege na nipeleka uh, after two days to frankfurt he nikaona na ushamba yangu na vile bado mimi ni mtoto mdogo i was just 19 years old not even 19 i was just 18 plus i was still young so i just told my mom no let's go back home and then we will travel another day and then after some i think after one week my agent called me and told me Lynette now you can travel to germany 
uh, you can go to the airport and just take your fly, uh, take your nini wende to go place ya ku check in wo wende like first come first served mimi wende nimekimbia nimekimbia ndio nimeenda kufika airport tunaambota na bado atozi fly to europe like guys i almost gave up i got a, a nice of family they were so caring walikuwa wanapiga simu wanaandika unakuja nini imefanyika naambia kuna hii volcanic eruption they were like tell me don't give up utakuja blah blah okay so me I, like i had no hopes again like two times kwenda airport alafu nakosa ku travel imagine your embarrassment imagine and then i went back home hata iko acha una ndege juzi kuko ina niuma kama hiyo ya kitambo ya kitambo nilenda mara mbili kwa airport na sikuweza ku travel nikarudi home we so ikafika time nikaweza ku fly out and then after ku fly out nika land frankfurt poa i went to this small beautiful city it's called marburg and it was like nilikuwa na feel kama niko out of the place okay there i was in that um village i was, I was like the only african in that village My, the first moment nilikuwa jo mimi ndo mwafrika peke yangu later after some months nikaanua makaniambia gas ma host mother like huku kuna mwafrika ule ameoa mzungu kuna mali pengine kulikuwa na familia wa togo sasa shida ni ukienda kwa watogo wanataka ku communicate na german wewe leo kijerumani bado vizuri uh, wanataka kwa, like it was so hard for me so it's either french or german so nilikuwa na bidi umechangachanga ume, ume kids nini <laughs> kijerumani mpaka uweze communicate na mtu After three months nilikuwa nimewekewa wig nyingine weave. Hiyo weave ilibidi mama mamangu mzungu na nibomwe weave like ilikuwa ni summer time. Nyole ilikuwa imeanza kunuka. Imagine umetoka Kenya na weave three months kwa kichwa. Ujivu utabomwa hizo makamba kwa kichwa like nyole yangu ilikuwa imeanza kunuka. Na jua inanichoma. Jua ndio joto ile jamani unajoma umetoka Kenya jamani kuna jamu inaitwa anga shivol. Like shivol iko so foist iko so like kuna kajoto like ni kako sama wet wetish wetish kama nisemi aje it's not it is just too iko too the foist yeah i don't know how you can translate that si baridi like iko too hapo yo iko hakuna wind unaona we so nikaambia umama aki mimi utanibomoa yenyewe nikaambia mzungu please nikae tu chini nibomoe yenyewe ile umama akachuka akaniza unataka ningamwe unataka tu wembe peke yake let's look for a razor alafu tukae chini tuanze kubomoa nikasema tu Mungu baba sedo mwanamke asikate nyule yangu ishe lakini akanikata poa tukabomoa nyule tukamaliza another thing ni nilikuja huku hiyo jote huku jote huku nilifanya nikakuwa mgonjwa umama akanipeleka hosi Achuna nini mbaya na mimi kufika hao si naambia naambia dokimi yake na na feel niko mgonjwa and i don't know what's happening to me and then doc was like i think new heat na ku affect and kwani utoki Afrika nikawa mimi natoka Afrika lakini Afrika kuna joto kama hii nilikuwa na jikuna kuna huko yani guys unaona huko ulikuwa na shina kila sana fanya fanya hivi na fanya fanya hivi kujichapa kwa sababu ya venye joto ulikuwa unanimaliza we hey. anyway let's come back to the point I nilikuwa nataka kuambia yani Jini semi nini about wa Kenya? Yaani umekuja huku, umefurahia umeona wa Kenya. Yaani kitambo that was kitambo. I don't know how nowadays is because me acha niombe tu sorry vile nilienda. Nilikuwa nimetoka nilikuwa nimeanza German class nikalipo university nyingine huko Marburg. So kukutana nilikutana mchali mwingine mtanzania. He was very nice that guy. Alikuwa anani help, ananiongelesha tu poa tukiwa shule like he was a good guy. Sasa mimi nilikuwa natamani kuwa na girlfriends wa Kenya. Ni feel like niko na Kenya nsuku. Juu nimekuwa bored sasa six months imeisha hata sioni wa Kenya nini nini. Eh, nikasikia wadem kwa barabara wanaongea Kiswahili. Nilikuwa nimefurahi aje. Alafu nikaenda nikawaambia saseni. We? Guys, ni wa Kenya mko na tabia mbaya. Yaani wasichana walinivuka, alafu wanasema kwa Kiswahili alafu anasema ati huyu amekuja kukosha dirisha like alisema na nguvu maka nikasikia nikasema nataka tumekuja kukosha dirisha through a pair what is the problem a kenyan is greeting you greet them back and that's it like i don't understand mtu anataka kukusalimia usai kula pesa yako usai kula mali yako mimi nilikuwa na mali nilikuwa na lishwa juu nilikuwa a pair na i was given my money also because i was working nachungia mtu mtoto wake but mtu kumsalimia alafu anasema wewe umekuja huko kwa shadrisha so wewe mwenye umekuja huko kufanya tulikuwa unafanya au mademo wili nasema ngao tu ande ningekutana na wewe unijue my life nijue hapa life yao imefika saa 13 years later 
because mtu anakongelesha hivyo eh hey, that thing broke me mpaka nilikuwa na mwafrika na kupaka kusalimia mwafrika kwa barabara and by the way guys until today i'm, af- I'm always afraid to greet someone mtu akiniangalia nafanya mkono ile hi ama nasimulia wa germani ile fake Mjerumani akikusali uh, ukitaka kusalimia mjerumani akunyamazie utasema mtu ni racist. What about these Kenya sisters when you say nimekuja kwa shadisha na kana ignore? Imagine wa Kenya mmoja kwa na tabia mbaya mkikuja Europe. Mwa tabia mbaya mwa unaona nanga West Africa wanaendelea. Wanakuja huku wanasupportia na mwingine anaambia mtu kuna ka black job mahali, kuna hii kuna hii kuna job to apply lakini wa Kenya competition wivu. He? wa Kenya please tupenda neni Europe like tupenda neni like mimi nikikunionyesha like it doesn't mean I'll sleep with your husband or whatever that's when mtu anakuwa na wivu na mimi na hata sikujui my friend ukitana na mtu mahali salimia mtu usije huo mtu atakusaidia utakutana na wapi sana sana kwa sasa hii kuna maizi saita birds swimmer unakutana na mtu atakuja kuwa nas place huko utasikiaje mtu uliko una ignore kwa barabara anyway guys um We are on the road to 10k subscribers. Please guys, I beg you to subscribe guys. I beg you to subscribe. Nifikisheni 10k guys. 10k. Guys, please nafu mkiwachi video please don't forget to like na ku subscribe. Tufike 10k. On we are on the road to 10k. So thank you so much for watching this video. I want to go back now and shower and go and sleep because I came from a night shift and I thought maybe I should give you this story before I sleep. See you on the next one. Bye bye guys.